So in front of me here you can see the cone where it opened out and where the lava flow spilled out from. Rafting blocks of the cone down towards the town below and towards closing the harbour. If you look carefully in the RR flow ahead of us you can actually see areas of scoria when these are bits of rafted cone that got bulldozed out by the RR. Okay so in front of us you can see the channel that fed the lava flow. You see this mossy tongue that's coming out of the cone here. This is a great feature that's typical of RR flows is you'll have these channelized areas and then you have the, the lava will fan out and it'll fan out and it'll form also lobes and you can see over where the lava flow is reaching the town you can see the houses are kind of nestled in and out and these are these tongues or lobes of of RR lava flows that are spreading out um, into the town. Okay, we're rolling. So this is a great place to describe the flow top of an RR lava flow. Here you can see we are about 20 meters above the level that the town is. So we've got a 20 meter thick RR lava flow and the surface of the lava really lives up to its name, RR. If I was to run in that direction in my bare feet I would be shouting ah ah very very loudly and that's because the surface is extremely rugged and it's broken up into spiky individual chunks of breccia that are quite vesicular and the, the surface has been torn each one of these blocks has been torn and ripped to make this spiky uneven uh, structure in front of us. So here I am down on the coast where the harbour almost got closed off by these RR flows coming down from the volcano. You can see a series of lobes of RR lava that came and approached the sea right in front of us here. We're looking at one of these lobes end on. And you can see the sea here has eroded the lobes so you can see a bit what the RR is like inside. Earlier we were just walking across the rubbly, spiky surface, but here you can see inside the lava is much more massive, but it's still quite fractured. And you can see the shape of it as an individual lobe or tongue coming towards us. And it's on the, it's on the order of several meters or even 10 meters thick of just coherent lava. We'll just go around the corner to see what it looks like from side view. So now we have this beautiful side view cross section through an RR flow lobe. This is a beautiful example of a ramp structure where you can see a bit of behind the RR flow has ramped up making some of these classic spiky RR tops. You can see one bit of lava has ramped up above the other. Over here you can see the fractures giving us some flow direction and you can imagine this trundling RR flow advancing towards the harbour here and you can see the internal fractures representing this flow direction and you can imagine it would be just like a giant conveyor belt with this RR rubble piling over the front of this tongue coming towards the ocean and imagine during the eruption there were 70 huge tough Icelanders with hose pipes squirting water frantically at the front of this to try and cool it down and to try and slow its advance to close off the harbour.